and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. <coughs> Roll call. Jeff Renahan, first ward. Bill Carlos, second ward. Jessica Lopez, third ward. Michael Stone, fourth ward. Matthew Oliver, fifth ward. And sure should sixth ward. Felicia Salvatore, town clerk. Jim Nelson, attorney for the town. John Baisley, town supervisor. Um, tonight's uh, agenda. First item on there, we're going to have a proclamation for Arlington High School students. And then we're going to have a public hearing. And number two will be a Appointment of a Sergeant Rodriguez to a Police Lieutenant. Three, appointment of Jason Berger to Police Sergeant. Four, appointment of Wayne Farine to Police Sergeant. Five, set a day for a public hearing in MS4 report. Six, authorize an agreement with DLT for shared services during emergency declarations. Seven, authorize Germania's May Fest and Oktoberfest events fees. Eight, appoint Sandra Lane as typist with the sewer department. Nine, accept the offer session of sewer line. Easement agreement, Mims Path, Kim on Court. 10, approve Vassar College Founders Day College event. 11, approve Arlington Business Improvement District's Taste Arlington. 12, reappoint Steve Eckelman to the Planning Board. 13, consent Center Point Planning Board Lead Agency. 14, approve Hudson Valley Creator Fest Waive the Food Vendor Permits. 15, award Sanitary Sewer Pipe CIPP Spot Repairs. 16, award CIPP Lateral Tap Repairs. 17, authorize town fund support for Tri-Town Senior Center. 18, point Jennifer Munn as Deputy Assessor. 19, Hudson Valley Kid Venture will be held on April 27th and 28th, Dutchess Community College. 21, Dutchess Avenue refer to public, refers to planning board for public comment. With that, before I start, we'll start the public hearing, I'd like to do proclamations for Arlington High School, Arlington High School jazz musicians return to Rockville, Maryland this year, and they participate in the 10th Annual Mid-Hudson Atlantic Jazz Festival School Big Band Competition on February 19th. After an exciting second place in 18, 2018, the jazz machine returned to the festival looking to achieve another successful appearance. The festival took place over three days from February 16th to 18th. In Rockville, in addition to the performances all weekend long by professional college, high school, and middle school jazz ensembles, there were also clinics, master classes, jam session performances by some of the biggest names in jazz today. In the high school big band competition, 14 bands from seven different states from around the Mid-Atlantic region performed a day-long preliminary round on February 16th, beginning at 8 a.m., finishing about 4 p.m. The bands performed for a panel of top jazz educators and musicians they moved to the top in the finals that evening. The Arlington Jazz Machine was selected as one of the top three finalists to move on to the evening final rounds. Saxophone and clarinet soloist Alex Gray was awarded one of the two outstanding overall soloist awards for the woodwinds for his solo work in this performance. Each finalist band was asked to perform two or three prelim selections of their choice for the evening's competition. At the conclusion of the three finalist performance in the final competition that evening, the Jazz Machine was awarded with the first place finish. The top three finished bands were Washington Lee High School Big Band from Virginia got third place, Lower Moreland High School Jazz Ensemble from Pennsylvania got second place, and we're proud to announce that Arlington High School Jazz Machine came in first place. The Jazz Machine is under the direction of Richard Gillian, Arlington High School Director of Bands and the Music Department Coordinator. We want to thank him for all his effort and all he did to bring these students to this level and have them come back the second year and come back first place. I think it's an honor in the town of Poughkeepsie to have Arlington students to get to this level. And it's really great to see the support that they got from their parents and the support here tonight for this. So I want to congratulate them. We have proclamations for all of them, myself and Jessica Lopez. Councilwoman will pass out proclamations, so when we call your name, please come up, and I think they all deserve a great round of applause for what they've done. Alvarez. 
Ryan Baker. Uh, Caputo. Some of the students were oh, here. Okay. Aiden Davidson? Not here. Khalid Dutton? Not here. Alexander Gregg? <laughs> Nicholas Grippo? Not here. Thomas Hansen? Not here. Elena Lett? Not here. Nope. Tyler Locke? Nope. <laughs> Christian Mandel? Nope. Cole Quimby? No. Get there. <laughs> Michael Santiago? <laughs> Aiden Sears? Eric Waters? <laughs> And Brian Wolf? No? Did we miss anybody? No? Thank you. Come on, you can get the rest. Yeah, sure. Thank you very much. <laughs>
and for, for writing it up and taking the time to do so. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Anybody else? Make a motion, resume the rules. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Yeah. <laughs> Being enacted that the Town Board of the Town of Poughkeepsie pursuant to public hearing held on April 17, 2019 at 7 p.m. at the Town Hall Town of Poughkeepsie, 1 over Rocker Road, Poughkeepsie, New York, does hereby adopt amendments to Town Code Chapter 210 entitled Zoning, specifically 210-62.1 entitled Chickens Keeping Of, an amendment to 210-9 entitled Definitions, and to add to 105-4 fee schedule, 105-4 v. 36 and be a further enacted that the amendments are attached hereto and incorporated herein with the language to be added underlined and the language to be deleted stricken and the town board does hereby waive verbatim reading of said amendments and does direct that said amendments be spread across the record as if it in fact had been read verbatim and be a further enacted the town board of the town of Poughkeepsie has determined that this action is a type one action requiring a long form environmental assessment form, EAF, is annexed here too, and be it further enacted that the written recommendation was received from the Dutch County Department of Planning and Economic Development dated April 12th, 2019, saying that the proposed amendment was a matter of local concern with comments, and be it further enacted that a written recommendation dated March 26th, 2019 was received from the Town of Poughkeepsie Planning Board in which the board, which said board, recommended adoption of the hearing amendments and be it further enacted that the town clerk notify the clerks of the surrounding municipalities of the public hearing pursuant to GML 239 NN and be it further enacted that the legal notice of public hearing was posted on March 25th, 2019 and published in Poughkeepsie Journal on March 29th, 2019 and be it further enacted that said local law shall take effect immediately upon filing with the Secretary of State. So move. Second. Good motion. Second. Any questions? Uh, just that I spoke with the mayor from Beacon and the town um, supervisor from Fishkill, who both already have chicken codes, and they say that they've had no problems with them, that they've the codes have been successful. And okay. people are enjoying their chickens. Great job, man. Great job. And you did a great job with it. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Public hearing of chickens passes 7 0. Excellent. Now, the town board agenda, I'd like to make a motion to suspend the rules for any item on the town board agenda. Second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Anybody like to discuss any item on the agenda? Doreen. So I have a question about item number 20 to authorize um, one Duchess Avenue to refer to planning and defer public hearing. So um, they were last here in January for the committee of the whole meeting. And I know there were several board members that had questions. So I, and they have not come back before the town board. So I was curious how this was referred to planning. What the It's to be referred to planning during the director of development has been working with them to answer all the questions. Okay. So it'll be referred to them and it has to come back to us. This does not give them any step forward, just sets a date for a public hearing. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Anybody else? Make a motion to resume the rules. Oh, Ms. Barchel. Good evening. Um, I promise not to go home and bake chicken. Um, <laughs> What I'm here to comment on was actually an, an item that you took up at your April 3rd meeting, and there was... And anything that's not on the agenda comes after the agenda. Well, I, I would like to know if you intend to... And any item that's not on the agenda can be brought up after the agenda is done. Okay. Do, yes. do, can you tell me if you intend to go into executive session? Because I think this is an, a matter that, at least under the rules that... And we have all intentions of going into executive session tonight to discuss matters with the attorney. If there's not an item on agenda, it gets brought up at the end of the agenda. Everybody has their, their time to speak. Okay. Well, I, I will certainly wait, and okay. it will be very interesting to hear a full uh, board meeting. Thank you. Make a motion to resume the rules. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Bill. Resolution 2. Be it resolved that the Town Board of the Town of Poughkeepsie does hereby approve the permanent appointment of Sergeant Shannon M. Rodriguez to the position of Police Lieutenant at the yearly salary of $114,325.10. 
subject to a probationary period of not less than eight, no more than 26 weeks for civil service law, effective April 29th, 2019, and be it further resolved that the town supervisor or his designee are authorized to execute and file all documentation required by the Dutchess County Department of Human Resources in connection with this appointment. So moved. Second. Motion and second. Any questions? All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion passes 7-0. Congratulations, Chair. Resolve that the Town Board of the Town of Poughkeepsie does hereby approve the contingent permanent appointment of Police Officer Jason S. Berger to the position of Police Sergeant at the yearly salary of $104,968.93, subject to a probationary period of not less than eight nor more than 26 weeks per civil service law, effective April 29, 2019, and be it further resolved that the Town Supervisor or his designee are authorized to execute and file all documentation required by the Dutchess County Department of Human Resources in connection with this appointment. So moved. Second. Motion and second. Any questions? All those in favor? Aye. 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 Motion passes 7-0. Congratulations, Jason. Be resolved, Town Board Town of Bikips is hereby approved the contingent permanent appointment of Detective Wayne D. Farine to the position of police sergeant at the yearly salary of $104,968.93, subject to a period of not less than eight and more than 26 uh, weeks per civil law, effective April 29, 2019. And be it further resolved that Town Supervisors designate your authorized execute and file all documentation required by Dutch County Department of Human Resources in connection with this appointment. So moved. Second. Motion second. Any questions on this one? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion passes 7-0. Congratulations, Wayne. Yeah, give me a second. Yeah. Yeah, true. Uh, there was Can't leave it deleted. <laughs> My stuff. He was on the way in. Yeah. a moment. You never knew. Go ahead, Matt. Resolution 5. Be it resolved that the Town Board of the Town of Poughkeepsie is hereby set May 1st, 2019 at 7 p.m. or as soon thereafter as the matter may become to be heard in the Town Hall, Town of Poughkeepsie 1 over Rocker Road, Poughkeepsie, New York, as the date, time, and place for a public hearing to accept public comment on a draft stormwater annual report. And be it further resolved, the searchable draft stormwater annual report prepared by the town engineer shall be filed in the town's clerk's office and posted on the town's website for review by any interested party on April 26, 2019. Be it further resolved, the town board will accept public comment on the draft stormwater annual report commencing on May 1st, 2019 and ending on May 10th, 2019 at 4 p.m. And be it further resolved that the contact person for this report is Eric Holman, Department of Planning, 1 over Rock Road, Poughkeepsie, New York, whose email is eholman at townofpoughkeepsie-ny.gov. 
And be it further resolved, the town clerk is authorized and directed to immediately publish a notice of the public hearing and the comment period. And be it further resolved, the town board does direct the, the director of municipal development to review any comments in the draft stormwater annual report and file the final report by May 24th, 2019. So moved. Second. Motion and second. Any questions? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion passes 7-0. Be it resolved that the Town Board of the Town Poughkeepsie does hereby authorize the Supervisor to execute an agreement with the NYSDOT regarding a shared service agreement to facilitate disaster assistance during a Governor's Emergency Declaration in substantially the form attached. So moved. Second. In motion second. Any questions on this? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion passes 7-0. Whereas the Town Board of Town of Poughkeepsie has heretofore received a request from Germania of Poughkeepsie to hold its May Fest on May 17th, and May 18th, May 19th, 2019, and its October Fest on September 6th, 7th, and 8th, 2019, whereas the presence of food and or booth vendors is a vital part of a successful event, now therefore be resolved, the Town Board of Town of Poughkeepsie does not include food and or booth vendors participating in Germania's May Fest and October Fest events as peddlers and hawkers. These vendors are thereby exempt from the provisions of Chapter 151 of the Town Code. And further resolved, the Town Board of Town of Poughkeepsie is hereby waive all permit fees relating to Germania Poughkeepsie's May Fest on May 17, 18, and 19th, and October Fest on September 6, 7th, and 8th, 2019. Be further resolved, the Town Board of Town of Poughkeepsie is hereby approved the application as submitted pending receipt of a certificate of liability insurance in the name of the Town of Poughkeepsie as an additional insured. So moved. Second. Okay. Motion to second. Any questions on that? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion passes 7 0. Be it further resolved that the Town Board of Town of Poughkeepsie does hereby appoint Sandra Lane to the position of full time typist grade 4, step 5 with the Town and Sewer Department at the salary of $22.2009 per hour, effective April 22, 2019, which appointment is subject to a probationary period of eight weeks per civil service law. And be it further resolved, the town supervisor is authorized to execute and file all documentation required by the Dutchess County Department of Human Resources in connection with this appointment. So moved. Second. With motion to second. Any question on that? Uh, I'd just like to thank Sandy for all her time in zoning. She did a great job down there. She's going to be missed, but I'm sure she'll do a great job in the sewer. Yes. She well, I'm only in favor if she's going to be in this building. You promised she was staying in this <laughs> building. All right, fine. They're in the process of painting the sewer. Um, typist will be now in the HR office. That would be here. All those in favor? Aye. Opposed? Motion passes 7 0. Be it resolved that the Town Board of the Town of Poughkeepsie does hereby authorize the supervisor to sign the irrevocable order of secession and agreement to accept sewer line and any supporting documents in regard to the Gendron parcel and substantially the force from attached. And be it further resolved that such offers and acceptance which provide utility services to an approved subdivision lot is a type 2 action requiring no seeker review. So moved. Second. Second. We have motion second. Any questions on that one? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion passes 7 0. Whereas the Town Board of the Town of Poughkeepsie has heretofore received an application from Vassar College for its Vassar College Founders Day event to be held on Saturday, May 4th, 2019 from 12 o'clock p.m. to 5 o'clock p.m. And whereas the presence of food vendors is a vital part of a successful event, now therefore be it resolved that the Town Board of the Town of Poughkeepsie does not include the vendors of food participating in the Vassar College Founders Day event as peddlers and hawkers, and these vendors are thereby exempt from the provisions of Chapter 151 of the Town Code, and be it further resolved that the Town Board of the Town of Poughkeepsie does hereby approve the application as submitted by Vassar College for its Vassar College Founders Day event on Saturday, May 4th, 2019, on Vassar College property, Raymond Avenue, Poughkeepsie, New York, pending receipt of a certificate of liability insurance, naming the town of Poughkeepsie as an additional insured. So moved. Second. The motion second. Any questions on this one? Yeah, normally they have fireworks with this, so are they no this, longer? This year they're not. This year they're not. Just, <laughs> this year they're That's not. good to know. Maybe we're getting environment. And it's not open to the public. It's, it's just a college event, but because they're having vendors and stuff. But no fireworks this year. No fireworks. Okay. Good Appreciate to know. It. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion passes 7 0. 
Whereas the Town Board, Town of Poughkeepsie has heretofore received an application from Robert Legacy of the Arlington Business Improvement District for its Taste of Arlington event to be held on Thursday, June 6, 2019 from 5 to 8.30 p.m. Now therefore be it resolved the Town Board, Town of Poughkeepsie is hereby waive all permit fees relating to the Taste of Arlington event pursuant to a request received by Robert Legacy, a copy of which is attached. And be it further resolved the Town Board, Town of Poughkeepsie does hereby approve the application as submitted for said event to be held on Thursday, June 6, 2019 between 5 p.m. and 8.30 p.m. contingent upon a receipt of the, by the town of a certificate of liability insurance name in town as an additional insured. So moved. Second. We have a motion and second. Any questions on this one? All those in favor? Aye. 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 Motion passes 7-0. Be it resolved that the town board of the town of Poughkeepsie is hereby reappoint Steve Eckelman to the plumbing board of examiners of the town of Poughkeepsie, which term is effective January 1st, 2019 through December 31st, 2021. So moved. Second. Motion second. Any questions on this one? I have one? Not on this particular person, but do we have any more openings on that board? No, actually, we have uh, five plumbers and one council person, me, and then a lay person, a guy with the union. So we've got a full board of eight. Okay, thank you. Okay. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion passes 7 0. Be it resolved, the Town Board of the Town of Poughkeepsie does hereby consent to the Town of Poughkeepsie Planning Board acting as seeker lead agency. Notice of intended paperwork can be found at the Town Clerk's Office for the project known as Centerpoint Commercial Development, 3350 Route 9 North Poughkeepsie, New York, parcel number 6062029735950. So moved. Second. We have a motion and a second. Any questions on this one? All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion passes 7 to 0. Whereas the Town Board of Town of Poughkeepsie by resolution 43 number 14, 2019, authorized the Hudson Valley Crater Fest on May 5th, 2019, from 12 p.m. to 6 p.m. with a rain date of May 11th, 2019. And whereas the presence of food vendors is a vital part of the successful event, now therefore be resolved. The Town Board of Town of Poughkeepsie does not include the vendors of food participating in the Hudson Valley Crater Fest as peddlers and hawkers, <coughs> vendors are thereby exempt from the provisions of Chapter 151 of the Town Code. To be further resolved, the Town Board of Town of Poughkeepsie has hereby approved the application as submitted for said event to be held on Sunday, May 5th, with a rain date of May 11, 2019. So moved. Second. Motion second. Any questions on this one? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion passes 7-0. Be resolved that the Town Board of the Town of Poughkeepsie does hereby award the bid for the Sanitary Sewer Pipe CIPP Spot Repairs 2019 to the low bidder American Underground Services at the bid price of $189,800 pursuant to the recommendation of the town engineer and be it further resolved that the supervisor is authorized to execute a contract agreement with American Underground Services. So moved. Second. Motion and second. Any questions? No. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Motion passes 7 0. Resolution 16 be it resolved that the town board of the town of Poughkeepsie does hereby award the bid for the CIPP lateral tap repairs 2019 to the low bidder BLD <coughs> Services LLC at the bid price of $49,250 pursuant to the recommendation of the town engineer. And be it further resolved that the supervisor is authorized to execute a contract agreement with BLD Services LLC. So moved. Second. Motion and second. Any questions on this? All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion passes 7 0. Whereas the county, the town of LaGrange, and the town of Pleasant Valley, and the town of Poughkeepsie have a common interest in the Tri Town Senior Center, which center provides services five days a week to seniors senior residents such as home delivered meals and hot noon meals to vulnerable and homebound seniors as well as programs and services that help seniors remain active engaged and independent in their communities now therefore be it resolved that the adoption of this resolution is part of the ongoing administration of the town involves no major reordering of priorities and is a type 2 action requiring no secret review and be it further resolved that the town board of the town of Poughkeepsie does hereby authorize super, the supervisor to execute a contract on terms acceptable to the supervisor so as to resume the town's financial support of the Tritown Senior Center in an amount not to exceed $8,000 for one year. So moved. Second. Any motion second. Any questions? Is this a contract for this past year only or is this something... For uh, this coming year. Okay. For because this, this year because... 
Somehow, and I hadn't realized this, this money had been taken out of the budget. Otherwise, I would have addressed it during the budgeting program. This was discussed during the budget period. No, we did discuss it. I did not hear. We to take $10,000 out and put a commercial grade kitchen in our senior centers. We could avoid this because not a number of our, a lower number of people were utilizing this, and all three towns were not paying equal share. And most first of all, well, yeah, but most. Let me finish, Anna. Most of the uh, the, the brunt of something got somebody got hurt on there was on the town's insurance. We wanted all three uh, try try communities to actually commit equal amount of money. That's where that came from. Okay, well. Actually, right now, the, the, the contracts are going to change, so it'll no longer be through the town, it'll be through the county. So it'll be covered under the county's insurance if anyone gets hurt or if it's any damages to the property. And currently, the numbers are, in the town, we have 15 people who attend at the senior center and 30 that get home delivery. That's 45 people. Town of LaGrange combined gets 13 people, Pleasant Valley gets 10. So we are paying four times as much as, well, Town of LaGrange does 2,000, Pleasant Valley does 500. So we're paying four times as much because we have four times more people participate. It's more proportional to the number of people involved. And these are our most vulnerable seniors. And this isn't an overlap of the services we offer because we do not offer a lunch program until we get a commercial kitchen. This is an overlap of services social programs there and the fact that Dutchess County State was supposed to handle this last year in June dropped the ball on it did not handle it and using the comments that they spend over hundred thousand dollars a year on this is not true because the food that comes from this program is federally funded food and and I agree that there is that small group of 17 people that are vulnerable because they come to the center I agree hundred percent with that the bottom line is it is going to pass most likely but Dutchess County has held us hostage because they're using this as a political ploy to pass this tonight. And that is my feeling because this has been covered. This has been covered through federal funding all this time. We told them last year, we had a discussion. The organization we rent from came in here with a contract with no signature on it and says, we are not honoring this contract anymore because we want more money. Right. And I said, go to the Office of the Aging, who should be signing a contract because we should not be responsible for somebody else's problems if somebody falls from Pleasant Valley or LaGrange who only have one or two days a week senior program. We have a full five day nine to two program for seniors that go there. A lot of these services that are there besides the food are the same exact service that we have at our senior center. Yeah. We spend we don't offer and the the problem is yeah, we don't offer the food. I agree with the food. We spend two hundred and fifty thousand dollars a year on our senior center and on our seniors, and that 60 some thousand that is dial ride, which is how these seniors get there. So we are paying for that also. I just want everybody to know that this $8,000 we are being held hostage by Dutchess County for this money because LaGrange, Pleasant Valley, and the town of Poughkeepsie are the only town in Dutchess County to pay. There's a brand new building down there underneath the Office of the Aging, and other towns are using that at zero cost. That's all I got to say. So if this didn't pass tonight, who'd be covering the bill? It'd be back on the county, right? Well, no, if it passes to well, our town right. residents. It depends if we get a contract. If yep. there's no contract forthcoming, we yep. pay nothing. And I, and I think that we can all agree that the ultimate goal would be to get our own senior center up to code so that we can provide hot meals. But my thought is, in the meantime, because that's not something that can happen immediately, we found out that we can't even put meals out, pre-made meals, out of ours because it's not up to health code. Um, so... I think that in the meantime, we, we ought to support our seniors and, and look well, for a better long-term well, we permanent are, solution. I, I, I hear that, but we are supporting them through Dial-A-Ride. They can make it to the senior center. But we can't feed them from the senior center the same way they're fed through this program. And I'd rather take the eight thousand dollars and try to find a way to feed them. But we we and we and in, in the rec committee we have looked at that uh, ways to do it, and and there isn't a way to do it because we do not have a commercial kitchen. But we budgeted for it. Let's get Tom Myring to, to get the. But it can't happen now, and this is for this year. Just so everybody knows, you know? the forty some seniors now are being fed out of the Hudson Valley Community Center. It's only seventeen. I think it's seventeen seniors right now that are ones that are being affected by this. So it's going to cost. We're going to I don't know if they're being fed down there or not. For 17 people. And it'll be up to the rec committee where the senior budget is to find the $8,000. Well, we've already talked to Tom because we wouldn't have had to do this if he had the money in the budget. Which we took out last but, year. And we told yeah, him, but, but there is nothing. There is no surplus in the rec budget. So we need to look for this elsewhere and transfer it in. So are you saying there's nothing... I didn't there? look in. You guys, I, I, was, I had a discussion with you. I said, go look in the department to find I, it. I did. Yeah. 
Well, it's not going to be done yet because we don't have a contract, so you still have time to find the funding from somewhere. It would be nice if we could get a commercial kitchen in the senior center. Yeah. Is and that, I know that Tom maybe, is working on looking for fundraiser. grant money and we're, yeah. Maybe careful. fundraisers or someone can donate it or something because I was there yesterday and, and it's a beautiful kitchen. It's a nice size kitchen. And I was, and do people, they do eat there, but they're not eating good food. And they're eating food. Oh, it's what people bring in to eat. It's what people bring in. So they're not eating there. Are they going there to the other place to eat? Or are they just going to our senior center? I, I don't know. I just think it would be nice if we could. Right. Beautiful once you yeah. guys. I think, I think that's all agree that that's the ultimate goal. Yeah. Yeah. But I think the dis only dispute is do we keep paying this money until our permanent solution is in place or do we let this go? That's where we differ. Maybe we put it out there that we could really, you know, I don't know if there's businesses or for grants. Or, look for grants. I know Tom is looking for grants. Is it? I don't think well, it would much. It's on the outside wall. I think it would be. Plus, we it's have a lot more than you think. Because you have to have a commercial. The hood uh, itself is the stove dishwasher. That you have to get the hood for it with fire <laughs> suppression. Yeah, and all that stuff. So it's it's yeah. a lot more than you think. We're probably looking at a minimum hundred thousand dollars. Yeah. Mm. yeah, but we still have the rec fund, so we could move ahead with it. But we also have several other major capital improvement projects going on too in our parks. That is correct. Any other discussion? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Nay. Nay. Motion passes 5 2. Who read the last one? Who, who read the last one? I think I did. Okay. Mike. Yeah, you did read that. Mike? Uh, okay. Whereas Assessor Kathleen Tabor will retire on June 30th, 2019, now therefore be it resolved, the Town Board Town of Poughkeepsie, that Jennifer Mund is hereby appointed as Deputy Assessor at the annual salary of $81,438.02 for the Town of Poughkeepsie effective June 3rd, 2019 through the end of Ms. Tabor's term on September 30th, 2019. And be it further resolved that the Town Board Town of Poughkeepsie does hereby appoint Jennifer Mund to the position of Assessor effective October 1st, 2019 for a six-year term at a first-year salary of $81,000. $438.02 and be a further resolved that the foregoing appointments are subject to receipt of all required certifications and the town supervisor is authorized to execute and file all documentation required by the Dutch County Department of Human Resources in connection with this appointment. So moved. Second. A motion a second. Any questions? I think the personnel could admit it. And Jennifer is here tonight. Here. Yeah. Yeah. <coughs> sure. Yeah, I'll just say that uh, the personnel committee we did um, interview and you know, I, I think that there's there was nobody more qualified to take over for Kathleen. So we're really excited. Jennifer, <clears throat> you know, Jennifer comes with um, experience. She, correct me if I'm wrong. Work for a state for a while, and you're in Hyde Park now in Lloyd. I'm a full time Park. assessor in the town of Lloyd, uh, part time assessor in the town of uh, Hyde Park, and I work as the deputy assessor in the town of Rhinebeck. Right, pretty busy. So, <laughs> I work a lot. <laughs> you have some big shoes to fill, right? Yeah, <laughs> uh, yeah Kathy's great. Yeah. I'm looking forward to it. And they've interfaced quite a bit over the years. And that, that's a good thing about giving her some time to work with Kathleen or a little Welcome bit. Welcome aboard. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. Right, yeah. yeah. And luckily, when I worked for the state, I did a lot of work for Dutchess County, and I'm familiar with uh, with everybody. So um, it'll hopefully make the transition very smooth. Mm. Okay. Thank you. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion passes 7 0. Congratulations. Thank Jennifer. you. Stand it up. Thanks. You're welcome. Resolution 19, whereas the town board of the town of Poughkeepsie has heretofore received an application from Chamber Foundation, Inc. to hold an event called Hudson Valley Kid Venture 2019 <laughs> on April 27th and 28th, 2019, to be held at Dutchess Community College, 53 Pendell Road, Poughkeepsie, New York, and whereas the presence of food and or booth vendors is a vital part of a successful event, now therefore be it resolved that the town board of the town of Poughkeepsie does not include food and or booth vendors participating in the Hudson Valley Kid Venture 2019 event as peddlers and hawkers, and these vendors are thereby exempt exempt from the provisions of Chapter 151 of the Town Code. And be it further resolved that the Town Board of the Town of Poughkeepsie is hereby approved the application as submitted pending receipt of a Certificate of Liability Insurance, naming the Town of Poughkeepsie as an additional insured. So moved. Second. Motion and second. Any questions? I just wanted to say that it's the first year that this has been in the town. It was in the City of Poughkeepsie prior, and 
So it's the first year in Dutchess, and they're pretty excited, and it sounds like it's going to be a lot of fun. I think that's the one that was at the Civic Center, right? It was. <laughs> yeah. It's going to be the K-9 presentations. And <clears throat> it was a lot of lot fun. A lot of different things. So I went last year. It was a lot of fun, but I think this uh, venue will be a, a better, maybe easier for location. parking and all yeah, that. Probably, yeah, probably. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion passes 7-0. Whereas the town board has received an application from O'Neill Group Dutton LLC requesting a change of zoning for tax parcel numbers 6062027635080 and 6062027455110 located at 1 Duchess Avenue, Poughkeepsie, New York, in the town of Poughkeepsie from Heavy Industrial IH District to Waterfront housing overlay district WHOD and whereas the proposed amendment is attached hereto and incorporated herein and the town board does hereby waive a verbatim ream of said amendment and does direct that said amendment be spread across the record as if it in fact had been read verbatim and whereas the proposed zoning amendment is expressly intended to accommodate a proposed mixed-use development with 84 residential units and 4,000 square feet of commercial space with the approximately four acres in the town that is part of a larger mixed-use waterfront redevelopment involving an approximately 14.3 acre site in the town and city of Poughkeepsie hereafter named One Duchess Avenue Project and whereas the city of uh, the city of Poughkeepsie Common Council acted as lead seeker for the environmental review of the proposed action under secret accepted a final environmental impact statement on March 19th 2012 and adopted and issued a written statement finding relative to the overall project on May 7th 2012 and Whereas the City of Poughkeepsie's Planning Board subsequently granted site plan and other approvals for the proportion of the project located in the city, and that proportion of the project is now under construction, and whereas the Town Board, as an involved agency under secret, must prepare and adopt its own writing findings prior to rendering its decision on the proposed rezoning, and whereas pursuant to 210-21-1, Point one, the town board must hold a public hearing within 62 days of receipt of a complete application for the waterfront housing overlay district designation and whereas pursuant to 210-21.1, .1, the town board must refer the application to the planning board for review and recommendation and whereas pursuant to 210-155, the proposed amendment must be referred to the Dutchess County Department of Planning and Economic Development to municipalities adjoining the town of Now, therefore, be resolved that, one, pursuant to 210-21.1, the town board hereby sets the public hearing on the proposed amendment for June 5th, 2019 at 7 p.m., or as soon thereafter as the matter can come to be heard in the town hall, 1 over Rock Road, Poughkeepsie, New York, and be further resolved that, 2, pursuant to 210-21.1, the town board refers this matter to the town planning board for recommendation as to whether in as to whether, in opinion of the planning board, the application supports a waterfront housing overlay district designation and be further resolved that 3, pursuant to 210-155, the town board directs the town clerk to refer the proposed amendment to the Dutchess County Planning <coughs> Department of Planning and Economic Development and to each of the municipalities adjoining the town of Poughkeepsie. So moved. Second. A motion a second. Any questions on this one? Yeah, I just so oh, good. Excuse me. I just want to make sure we passed a resolution on this that had a series of points on it. The review by our planning board is down that list. Yep. So that they would come back to us and say, these are okay, this one's short, this one whatever it is, but it would come back from our planning board. They give us not of what our list was. They give their opinion on what their thought is. The same with Dutchess County planning. Our list is our list. But we had our original list. Okay. Is that what you're referring to? 
Yeah, I just want to make sure that the new plan matches that list, considering that what well, we went through the last time. Um, That's why we're sending, I think, why we're sending it to them to get their opinion on the other changes, if the changes are good. Should no. we specifically ask a member of the professional staff, the engineer, or somebody from the town, from the The director of development's staff. been going back and forth with them on these and on their list and getting clarifications. Because we had questions originally with units and the number of units and the number of bedrooms. Yeah, there was, Mike, there was, Mike there was a list. series of things. There was rec fees and the density. Mike has a lot of those listed in here that he has. Okay, I, I know the document is, is is around. I just want to make sure that we'll build, as we go through this process, we check to that document. Yeah, on his last page of Mike's comments, it's comments from the boards and responses. Number of bedrooms, snow area, parking spaces, agreement to trail maintenance, rec fees, pilots, if there was a pilot, WHOD building height, you know, all those things are in here. Just as long as it's checked. That's yep. all I'm interested in. And the question is, do we rely on the planning board or do we insist on one of the professional staff to come before us and say they checked it? Well, it has well, to come back to us anyway. Yeah, it comes back to us and Mike will have his recommendation. Okay, so Mike Wilty will come back and tell yeah. us that. Yeah. <laughs> okay. We're going to work with him on a day-to-day -day basis. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion passes 7-0. That brings us to the end of our meeting. I'd like to make the motion to suspend the rules for public comment on any item related to the town. So moved. Favor? Second. Favor? Aye. 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 Anybody has any comments to make, um, please keep them to three minutes. Uh, anybody? <coughs> Mrs. Barcher. Thank you. You're welcome. Um, Thank you for waiting. As I started to say before, last on um, April 3rd, this board approved unanimously a claim for uh, uh, costs of repairing some damages to my house. And I would like to thank you for uh, having approved it. However, it was tied to a general release, which had not even been drafted at the time of uh, the last board meeting. Um, it was sent to me. Um, I consider it overly broad. Uh, many of my attorney friends concur. And so I have um, come up with a draft of a property damage release, which is something that I would be willing to sign. Um, I would like to submit it to the um, our town attorney and to our supervisor and to all of you. Um, it is um, the substantive part of, uh, of release. Um, I think you will find it as reasonable and uh, appropriate for the injuries, um, damage to my house. One of the reasons why I am concerned about um, signing a general release which is so broad is that I have no way of anticipating what may happen. Um, as you know, I have blocked a uh, marriage fraud application, which is a felony under um, U.S. law, a federal felony, and also the potential chain migration of some very unsavory people from Pakistan. They are wealthy. They're well-connected. They're used to getting their way. I anticipate further activity from them. Um, and do not want to have my hands tied by uh, a general release that might preclude me from um, litigating an action that they bring or that I may have to bring against them and that might implicate the town. Um, I spent many years, about six years, um, almost two decades ago, trying to do um, the best that I could for our town to remedy a very unfortunate situation that we had here. I'm proud of the fact that I did that. It was at some expense to myself and to my own safety, but I think it was worthwhile. I am not inclined, therefore, to do anything that would harm my town. I do not have any current um, um, uh, action 
pending against the town. I would certainly prefer not to have to ever sue this town. Uh, in the past, when I had an opportunity to do so, I had a grievance. And instead, I made a voluntary uh, appearance before a grand jury, at, which voted a no bill. Um, my own approach is that there are certain areas where perhaps our, there should be a review course on matters such as the scope of the fourth, a fourth and other constitutional amendments and how they apply to the town. My own approach would be education rather lit than litigation. But I am very concerned about these unsavory people who are still out there who would probably like to sue the hell out of me. And I do not want to have my hands tied. So I have a, a draft that I will submit to uh, you, the supervisor and to Jim Nace, uh, Nelson, our town attorney, and to the police chief who I'm, unfortunately has left. And I think I may have copies enough for all of you to review. We can make copies. And thank you. Mm -hmm. We can make copies. Thank you can make copies. Well, I, I, I tried to bring a number, a number okay. of copies. Um, normally, this is something that I would suggest should be brought up in an executive session, but um, I don't know that you intend to hold one tonight, so I am bringing it to you as a, in an open meeting. In a, in a closed setting, I would tell you more about what is going on mm. behind the scenes. Are you in your own five minutes? But you just I won't. Pass it on to Mr. Nelson. Please. I will, I will, I will Thank uh, you. give these copies to, I'll give them, shall I give them first to our just, town attorney? Just give them to Mr. Nelson. He'll just <laughs> take it. Thank you. Okay. Does anybody else that would like to discuss anything? Thank you. Uh, I would. I would like. Thank you, Thank you Mrs. Thank you, Mrs. Barger. Thank you. So I have a question about the Vassar College Inn that they want to build. So I saw that it's on the planning board agenda for tomorrow night. And they're saying that they don't need any variance or zoning change because that's a permitted use in the institutional district. Well, I'm looking at the institutional district and the permitted uses, and I don't see anything that says an inn is included there. So I don't know why they don't have to come before the town board to ask for a zoning change. I'll ask Mike in the morning, Doreen. I don't. Okay. Not sure. All right. And I don't even see it under a, um, a special use, so I wasn't sure why that was happening um, because I did look at this once before, and I thought they would have to come for a zoning change. I know you stated that to me a couple of times, and I, I didn't follow through on it. I'll find out from in the morning. Yeah. So Okay, because it's on for tomorrow evening. And then the other thing I'd like to ask, um, and I asked about it once before, but I'd like to know if there's any update on the, um, there's a shared services grant between, um, it's county grant, $150,000 in taxpayer money, and it's a um, shared uh, municipal um, fire district study. So it's with the town and the Arlington Fire District. And basically, it was to um, check on the feasibility of uh, potentially consolidating some, some buildings. And I haven't heard anything about that. And again, that's funded with um, taxpayer money. It's county shared service, yeah. Right. Yeah. And right, county taxpayers, which as town taxpayers, we're paying part of that. And, and my concern is because the um, Arlington Fire District has entered into a lease with Croft Corners. Um, volunteer fire department for um, renovations and use of their Croft Corners firehouse. So, so now town taxpayers that live in the Arlington Fire District are paying for Croft Corners firehouse uh, renovations, and we're funding this study, which is supposed to look at the feasibility of uh, consolidation of some buildings. So 
We're getting, and so is anybody from the Arlington Fire District working with you, and can you give me a status? Tori was the last one who worked with us since his retirement. Okay. But Mr. Welty had set up meetings with um, the new chief and the uh, new chairman over there to come in, and they've had conflicts with dates. But they're just about done to come in and present it to them and present it to us. They're pretty close to finished. I'll follow through with Mike and see if he met with him. I've seen their vehicles out there. I'm not sure if he actually follows up with them on a one-on-one. -on -one. We've gone through the whole process of you know, measuring buildings. They've met with all the department heads in town hall. They met with the police department. They met with the courts, the Arlington. We've, had, we've done all that. They're just wrapping the study up. And I don't know how informed the new chief is over there and how informed Tory kept him on what was going on. And we've invited Blake Williams to come in and discuss it. And twice he wasn't able to, to make it here so far. Yeah, because he is the chairman of the board yeah. of the Arlington Fire um, District, and I do realize that you have no control over that board, but it's just a little disconcerting that, you know, we're paying taxpayer money for this study, and then at the same time, they're going forward with um, renovations on a firehouse, so you wonder, you know, what we're, you know, there seems to be a disconnect there, and yeah. again, it's all taxpayer funded. Yeah, I had a meeting with the chairman, when we first started, and that was the last meeting I had with a chairman, we've had a lot of meetings with, you know, the in-house staff, you know, going forward as the process was going on. I don't know how it informed Tory kept them going through the process. Okay. So when do you expect a, a presentation regarding this study? Tori, I'd say within the next 45 days, they should be just about done. 45 days, okay. Yes, we, we've, we've picked a couple locations, and we're working through locations that may work and may not work, and going through that process and figuring out if we can come up with some different locations. So that poured a little hold on it for a while because some of the locations we looked at with the economy changing were no longer available. Okay. All right. Thank you, Jay. Thank you. Anybody else? Yeah, I just have one thing. Um, I'd like to congratulate uh, Fire Chief Chris Mader of Fairview Fire Department. Uh, he's been recognized by the New York State Association of Fire Chiefs, and if I could, I'd just like to read this letter to you. Uh, Dear Chief Mader, the New York State Association of Fire Chiefs, I'd like to thank you for participating in this year's James W. Wright Public Education Award. We appreciate all the efforts and dedication you provide to your community. For these efforts, we would like to award you and your department the 2019 New York State Association of Fire Chiefs James W. Wright's Public Education Award. The Association's Public Education Committee has reviewed all the entries and agree that your department should be commended for your efforts in protecting the residents of your community. Your program shows the time and commitment that is needed to provide for the safety information our communities need in time of emergency. You will receive this year's 2019 James W. Wright's Public Education Award during the opening ceremonies at the 46th, 46th Annual Fire and Life Safety Educators Conference, along with full registration and accommodations to representatives. Also, we provide you the opportunity to show your program to a large number of public educators attending the conference. Your department will also receive recognition to over 10,000 members in our association's magazine size up. So I just wanted to thank Chris for all the hard work he's done. And, um, you know, it's good to see that a local fire department is being recognized statewide. Thank you. Jess, was your event canceled this weekend? Yeah, last, last week we mentioned that there was a cleanup uh, across the street here on the Meadow Road Park uh, this Saturday at um, noon. And that has been canceled because there's a 90% chance of rain. So as soon as it's rescheduled, um, I will let you know what the new date is. Yeah, and unfortunately, my event's on Saturday, too, because this Saturday on the Vassar College lawn, this is the Easter egg hunt, and it starts at 11 and ends at 1. So if it's rainy, it'll be in the field house in the back. Will they put up signs to direct them back there? Or? Yes. Okay. Somehow people don't seem to have any problem finding it back there. Mm -hmm. right. Yeah, that works. Anybody here? Just to remember, at all town cleanups from uh, going forward, except for August 17th, I will be at the transfer station from 7 to 12 collecting items for the Semperfly parents at Hudson Valley. They're looking for socks, black or white t shirts, and um, medicated foot powder. And um, if you can just drop off and drop off any items, we'll take them and I'll get them to the Semperfly parents at Hudson Valley. Thank you. And I have one PSA there also. Also, Saturday is uh, Recruit New York. I'm not sure if anybody heard about it. It's a big push to try to get volunteer firefighters throughout the state. And our three towns do have events. The first one I'll talk about is Arlington. They're having theirs at Station 3 on Red Oaks Mill uh, Station there at Vassar Road from 1 o'clock to 4 o'clock. Fairview is having theirs on Violet Avenue from 11 to 3. And New Hamburg is having theirs on Channel Road from 
10 in the morning to 4 in the afternoon. And like I said, a lot of these are just events. It's like an open house to really try to recruit some people to join a firehouse. Thanks, Trevor. I have one more, if I may. Go ahead. Um, so this is coming up in May. Uh, on May 7th, here at Town Hall in the evening, we're doing a QPR suicide prevention training. Um, that is something that we've has gone out through uh, our blast email here at the town. So if you're signed up, you probably got the information. But it's a, um, it's a crisis intervention training, just as a Narcan training would be, or even CPR. Um, it's going to be educational. Uh, in that it'll teach you how to notice the signs if someone is uh, possibly suicidal and how to intervene and 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 what to do uh, and then you actually leave certified and it's free to the town it's free to town residents and feel free to bring anyone you'd like and you could just call town hall and 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 Taryn will get you all registered thanks for um, yourself and Taryn work on this no problem anybody else got any other announcements no Jeff be resolved, the Town Board of Town of Poughkeepsie does hereby adjourn to executive session and consider the following to discuss matters which are exempt under the open meeting law, including matters subject to the attorney equivalent client privilege. Sorry. So move. Second. second. Motion second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Town Board goes in executive session at 8.01 p.m. Thank you.